How's it going everyone? All right, so I wanted to do a quick video here on just my daily skincare routine. Give me ideas on other videos because I have, like I kind of want to do some vlogs. I have other ideas, but like if you guys have some specifics, let me know. But okay, so let's just get right into my skincare daytime skincare routine. So I'm gonna start off with moisturizers. And this is not my first step. I'm not going by steps, okay? I'm going by just whatever I grabbed. And the first thing I grabbed was moisturizers. Not, this is not my first step. Just keep that in mind, not my first step. But I have two moisturizers here. One of them's a new one and the other one is also, well, they're both new. Other, one of them is just newer to me than the other. So the very first one is the not extremely new one. This is Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. This is the fragrance free version. If you've tried the Hydro Boost, the gel cream for the face, this is the same thing. This is the same thing, but you get 16 ounces for about 10 or 15 bucks, depending where you go. It's amazing, it's great. It's not like a thick moisturizer, it's a gel cream. Like like it says in this name, it's a gel cream. Really great everyday moisturizer. But for the days that like my skin, I wake up and it's peeling and it's going through it. This is the newer one to me. It's not new. This is the Up and Up Advanced Repair Unscented Body Lotion. This was $2. $2 for 20 ounces. This is a wonderful moisturizer. It's very, it's not very thick. It's probably as thick as the CeraVe moisturizer, like the lotion, moisturizing lotion. It has water, glycerin, satiric acid, isopropyl palmitate. Good stuff, good stuff. This is all in all good, great. I don't like keeping this long. I just wanna get it short to the point so you know, you can do your own research. You can do your own research. I'm not gonna give you. These two together cost less than 20 bucks. And they're both, one's 16 and one's 20 ounce. So obviously we're budget friendly on this channel, Miss Mama. Cause I have to pay for my own shit. <laughs> the next thing I just wanna talk about is my current sunscreen that I'm using. It is, I've talked about this in my previous uh, favorite green sunscreens. This is the Avocado Moisture Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++ plus plus plus. and it's like 14 bucks I think. This is like the fourth or fifth one I've, I've gone. I've gone through four, this is the fifth one I'm on. So I, I don't, do I need to say anything else? It's a great sunscreen, it's a great moisturizer, it's awesome. I personally need a moisturizer underneath it, but that's not for everyone. Next, I want to talk about a little thing called vitamin C. So this is the first vitamin C serum I've ever used and it's been about a week. And honestly, it's pretty good. It's decent so far. I'll let y'all know more when I finish this up. As of a week, it's not bad. It has irritated my skin. I feel like I've seen a brightening effect, but it could also be due to another product that I'm about to show you. So let's just get into that other. So the other product that I use daily also, so I use the vitamin C in the morning, but I always use this in the morning. This is the Ordinary's Niacinamide Plus Zinc. I always put this first thing on in the morning, then I'll put either the vitamin C or I will put over it this um, for my face. This is, I, I have a, I, idea in mind for a video of the best BHA solutions I've ever used. This is one of the best. This, this Cause RX BH, BHA Blackhead Power Liquid, it rivals Paula's choices. It really does. I woke up the next day and I was like, what? This is really good. Really, 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 really good. It's only like 16 bucks on Amazon. If you go to other places, it's a little bit more expensive, but I got it on Amazon, so that's why it was so cheap. What I use for my body for BHA is, uh, I used to always use this on my face, but my face got used to it. Does your skin ever get used to products? My face got used to this because I used it for like a year straight. 
this is the dupe for the polish choice toner it's basically the same thing but it's a little bit different it's only ten dollars it's great peach slices i use this on my body it's amazing love it work last thing again this isn't the order at all keep that in mind obviously the last the last thing i'd be putting on my face is the sunscreen an eye cream that i actually do like there's only two eye creams i like the glam glow eye cream and this eye cream and uh, there's three because i mm, uh, debatable if the third one's an eye cream it's not really eye cream it's just a moisturizer but i used it as eye cream and i was like <gasps> but this one this eye cream it has mica titanium dioxide peptides and other things in it and it's just great this inky list eye cream it's really good the first time i got it right when it first came out a couple years ago it smelled like shit yeah it smelled like a metallic penny like you're rubbing a penny all over your face it was disgusting now yeah they got rid of the scent somehow there was definitely an ingredient there that was a wacky do that should not have been in there they got rid of it and they definitely reformulated this so it doesn't smell like shit. There's no for fragrance in it. But yeah, this is this eye cream and the Glam Glow eye cream are the only two eye creams I will ever use because I love an eye cream with a little bit of shimmer in it, but like a subtle shimmer. I don't want it to actually look like it's shimmer. Just so like when I look in the mirror, it's like, oh, my underwear is a little brighter. My, you know what I mean? Glam Glow is the best, but it's $40 for that eye cream for 0.5 ounces and this is $10 for 0.5 ounces so obviously I went for this one <sighs> can you blame a bitch right now it's inflation season it's girl we're in a recession what can I say anyways so that's my daytime products that I use that's not the routine if it's the routine you want a routine miss mama I'll give you a routine so Wake up, brush my teeth. After I brush my teeth, splash water my face. If I feel like I'm oily, wash my face. After that, first thing I do, put on this, boom. If I'm breaking out, instantly, we're gonna choose to put on this one over it. We're gonna layer that one on top. If I'm not breaking out, we're putting on this one. Oops. After that, right after that, we're gonna put on the eye cream. Right after that, if after I put on everything and I see little flakes or whatever, I'll be using this because it's thicker. If not, my skin is normal, I'll be using this. After that, if my body is breaking out during the day, but when I wake up, I'll put this on for during the day on my body, wherever I need. Then, since my moisturizer has dried by then, I'll put on my sunscreen. Boom. That's your daytime routine, if you needed it in order. Anyways, goodbye, good night, good riddance, have a good one. I don't care. I'm just doing this because I want to have fun, and I get bored being an accountant. So that's why. If you ever wondered if being an accountant is, like, entertaining, it's not. I'm so bored in class. I was so bored during my internship because this accountant needs some spice in her life.